Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Make sure you guys subscribe to the show. Thumbs up this video, leave a comment at the bottom. Yeah, I know I'm sitting here funny, but I'm on my laptop trying to do some work, and like Microsoft is not working, so I have someone over at Microsoft, you know, try to hook up the stuff for me. So, anyways, the 2016, aka the 50th Super Bowl, was on tonight, and the Broncos took that shit home. Pretty easy game for them considering the last time they played in the Super Bowl, which was what 2014 was it? Yes, they got their asses whooped. I forget what the pain was, just crying by Russell, guys, ass tapped by Russell Wilson. And so, on um, this year, he did the same thing to Cam Newton. Cam Newton, I was rooting for him because of the fact how the media was portraying him, trying to make it seem like he's now a hard worker and trying to portray Peyton as you know this great athlete. But it's like they both. We're studying, not just Peyton. Anyways, this might be Peyton's last season, so it's great to see him take home, you know, another championship for him and his team, and especially for his last season. Anyways, Lady Gaga performed the national anthem. She did a lot better than what I expected and anticipated from out of her because, you know, I've seen her perform. She's been improving being a vocalist and not just being, you know, this entertainer or whatever. And then, um... I'm keep looking over and making sure they're not doing anything fishy on my computer. Anyways, um, my nose looks super big in this video. Anyways, um, the halftime show with Coldplay, aka um, Maroon Five. If you're some people, Cookie. Um, Bruno Mars and Beyonce. Now Beyonce almost fell. She fell down the steps. So whatever she did at the Super Bowl would have been no really big deal. Bruno Mars stole the show doing Uptown Funk. I am tired of that song, but his interpretation of it this go around was a lot more fun, a lot different, and that's what made him the standout of this performance. I wish Coldplay did more songs. I feel like they had more songs out there than what they performed. Beyonce did um, Formation, and I'm glad she included the I Love My, my Niggas Nose and My Baby Hair with the Baby Hair, and I'm Still Ghetto. I got the hot sauce in my purse still lines and um she killed her performance as well but again bruno mars we don't see we see him do like james brown 50s type inspired stuff him doing all those mc hammer bobby brown knew this that whole era of dancing the late 80s early 90s stuff that was just a shocker to me maybe that's what we'll see with new music and not do like you know this do wop bop bop shoo wop bop bop type stuff pop stuff maybe we'll see him do like you know Motown funk type thing who knows or like you know what's that thing called you know it's the style of music that was in, in big in the early to 1990s for R&B music um maybe we'll see him do that with his new album this is Russell Aaron Russell are you guys gonna go to Beyonce's formation tour it's gonna be all that arena so you know it's gonna be real pricey to get bloody no seats let alone getting front row seats and how about um the actual concert or the music video how do you guys feel about that i saw it i like the message of the hair embracing your nose your features the um black lives matter part and all the other stuff that she has in there with um katrina and black women uni unity but some of y'all are taking this way too far by making it seem like, you know, this is like, you know, the most prolific thing for black communities to ever have is Beyonce sick talk about black culture stuff. It's like happy that she's doing it. She could have done it years ago. She's highly successful. She should have been taking more risks like this, but you know, I'm happy that she's doing it now. But that's not act like She's doing the same thing that Stevie Wonder and the rest of them were doing back in the 1970s and talking about black race in America. This is Russell of Russell. Subscribe to the show. Those are the video. Leave a comment at the bottom. Peace.